Hi guys, welcome to another episode. We here at our test bench. There's been quite a lot of discussion about varying knots within uh, with Dyneema. We have our standard spear line notch on both ends of these pieces. One has a bow line. Take that up close. Just your conventional bow line. The other is our standard knot plus a figure of eight, but a double. Um, we'll show a listing up here how to do that knot. Someone suggested we try it. Take it up close. Just a simple figure of eight, but doubled. To make this, you make a standard figure of eight, follow through the spear, come back and follow the exact trace. It's quite easy to do. In size, it looks slightly larger. How strong it's gonna be? We'll find that out now. Let's break that one first. Taking up the strain. So the figure of eight is on the left side. Our standard knot for spears is on the right side. I haven't tensioned them other than by hand. Now we're starting to tension them. I'll take it up very slowly so that they stretch uniformly. Holding very well. Anything over 100 is good to me. One of them parted internally. There we go. Figure of eight actually held and the compression from the standard knot we use broke the cord internally. So, figure of eight is actually very good. Disadvantage is the size. That's quite a large knob to drag around compared to that. I'll do one later with both sides to figure of eight and see where we get to. Now we're gonna do the bow line. We've tested this in the past, and I have found it to be quite weak, not in terms of breaking, but in slipping. Dyneema itself has uh, quite a waxy surface, and that does mean it's quite slippery. There we go. Spear line on the right, bow line on the left. I've left the tag ends upright so we can see what happens. We're at six kilos already. Let's start tensioning. There starts the slippage on the bow line. We're getting to close to 70, which is adequate, but I wouldn't like to use it. slowly slipping. It holds at 70, you would probably land your fish because it will just snub up against the spear. But you're getting about half the brake strain before it starts to slip in comparison. I'll keep pulling till it snubs up. go. The compression within the standard spear line did compress enough to collapse it at well over 120. This did hold and uh, but that knot will have pulled up tight against your spear. Uh, you would probably land the fish but you'd now have to retire that. Well there you go. Now we have done a few more tests. Wait for the next one. <laughs> 